Hey, my friends, this is The Art of Prepping. Hope everyone's doing okay. Everything is good here. It's been a few days since I've made a video, so I thought maybe I'd make one. There's been some questions I've been receiving, plus I just wanted to share a few tips. Uh, they're very simple tips, very common sense, so it's really easy to kind of remember these. And so the first would be to explore online shopping more. For a lot of people that, you know, you have experience buying things online, but there's still a lot of people that have never bought groceries or basic essentials such as like household items online. And so you might want to consider that, you know, instead of going out and exposing yourself in physical stores to check it out online, just might be safer overall. And so I've been doing this myself for the last two weeks with a lot of success. And in fact, I've actually saved a bunch of money doing this. Uh, and I'm even thinking that even after all this, when this blows over, all these crazy things that we're going through, when all this blows over, I might continue to do online shopping for a while just because, man, I've been able to save quite a bit of money compared to local prices. And I'm still a big fan of buying local, and, you know, keeping some of the money in the local circulation. I'm still very much for that. But there are certain items that I've found that are not even available in my local area. And wow. And the prices are very fair. So I was like, it's pretty interesting what I've been able to find over the last two weeks. Also, a lot of questions about face mask. Um, in a real pinch, you can put together a makeshift emergency face mask. Uh, you can double over bandanas shamogs you can even take a short sleeve t-shirt and put your head through one of the sleeves and just bring it down so it's just over your nose and mouth at the same time you can uh, layer these like for example you could you could use the t-shirt and then put over top of that a shamog and basically just create layers it's better than nothing and so i understand that it's not going to probably be optimum in any way but once again better than nothing Good mental health. You definitely want to take some time to go outside and get some sunlight, take a walk, do some stretching, you know, stay social. May not want to be social in person, of course, but may want to make some phone calls, do some FaceTime, uh, just connect with people and however you can. And definitely don't be sitting at home and watching the news 24-7. It's very bad. And, um, you know, so definitely limit your exposure to all this crazy news and any type of extreme websites. Um, I've been very disappointed in some of the prepper and survival websites out there. They've gotten to be really gloom and doom. And all they want to talk about is worst case scenarios. And I'm not really interested in that. I think that most people just want more hope and they just want to have, um, you know, uh, an outlook that's positive and and not just the worst case scenarios. I think it's just so ridiculous that people are pushing their products uh, through fear. And so I'm taking note of all of this and I will I am definitely not going to be supporting any of these places anymore that are, are just, you know, causing panic, you know, more so than it already is. And I just want to say as well as that, try to make this the best time that you can, you know, use the time wisely. I know for a lot of us, we haven't had a vacation in a long time. I've been getting a lot of conversations recently that involved uh, the topic of sleep. Uh, people are getting better sleep now than they ever have because they're able to sleep in. And so they're kind of almost like rediscovering the benefits of getting appropriate amount of sleep. So if you don't have to wake up early, don't wake up early. Just sleep in a little bit. Get your eight or nine hours of sleep. You know, I mean, and this even goes for me. I've been trying to like train myself, you know, to stop getting up so early. Uh, a lot of times I only get five hours of sleep and then I wonder why I'm not feeling so hot or I'm, I'm tired toward the end of the day, like kind of early. Uh, so I'm just like, no. So when I do get up, just because it's a it's a habit now that I get up like after five hours of sleeping, I just say, no, I'm going back to sleep. And I typically sleep for another three hours and I wake up and guess what? I feel great. I feel rested. I feel great. And so do that. If you have a hobby that you've been putting off, well, work on your hobby. If you want to learn a new skill, learn a new skill. 
If you want to read a book, read that book. I know so many people that have been putting off a book or two for years. Well, you, if you have time now, and I think that a lot of people do, read those books. If you want to write a book, there's so many people that want to write a book. And, and actually, there's a lot of people who are, are writing books. I mean, I have talked to a number of people in the last month that that is what they've been doing. You know, when, they, when they're at home, they're, they're doing it. And guess what? I've been doing it too. But I, I started a few months ago. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, in, I'm deep into my book now. And it's a joy every day to add a couple more pages. So I'm really getting a kick out of that. So yeah, spend time with family. Uh, do fun things. I mean, if you can still do it, you know, safely and legally in your area to go out camping and hiking and to go out into the woods or just go fishing or to go boating, then do that. Just avoid other people. And there's plenty of places that are going to be really thin in population. And so spend time with family, kind of make this a positive experience, not some type of a, of a, you know, a nightmare experience. Especially if you have kids, be just really mindful of how you go about handling all this because you can really cause problems for them. You don't want them to be anxious and worry, you know, there's just really no reason for that. So be optimistic. Just know that in reality, things will get better over time. There may be waves of this threat that we're dealing with currently, but it won't last forever. So just know that. And just do the best you can to be prepared as much as possible. When you see an opportunity to get some more, say, food or other resources at a fair price, go ahead and get some extra. Um, I do say that, you know, at this particular time, there's a lot of people that aren't able to get some things. So you don't want to, obviously, and you never want to do this to begin with, you don't want to panic buy. And you don't want to just buy like a ton of stuff at one time at this particular moment because you really do keep a lot of other people from getting some essentials. So you don't want to do that. And so that's what I've been doing recently is this, is that when I do, uh, within the last two weeks, when I've been buying online, I just buy the minimum order, like literally just buy 20 to $30 of stuff pretty much. And just, just kind of a few things really. And so just to kind of have a few extra things coming in, and for me personally, it's more of like, it's a, it's kind of like a, a mental thing, you know, knowing that I have a few things trickling in and I'm not just burning through my supply, you know, my supplies, for example, I also have things coming in. So I have, you know, um, a cycle going on. It's everything is not just going out. There are some things coming in. And so it's, it's kind of a mental thing for me that's really good. And I really calm down. It's just, it's a nice thing to, to think about. And so you definitely want to be, you know, mindful of others, you know, and, and don't just buy up everything. It's just not, it's just not the right thing to do anyways. And plus you should be pretty well set. If you're a real prepper, you shouldn't have the need to go out and buy a bunch of anything. Uh, but you know, there's nothing wrong with kind of just topping off your supplies, maybe like once a week and do small orders. There's nothing wrong with that. And so just take all precautions, try to avoid public spaces. You know, I personally would not go to a physical grocery store unless you really, really had to. I would not go to a gas station unless you really, really had to. And I certainly wouldn't go uh, to any gatherings. Uh, what is very sad right now is that there's a number of people that, you know, are passing away in different countries and it's just not safe to even go to the funeral. So there is this thing that it's, it's, it's a pretty sad situation. Um, but on a, lot, a lighter note, um, just because I don't want to end this on a sad note, there is a lot of um, predictions and a lot of evidence that most likely come this December and January, you know, this upcoming December and January, we're going to have a pretty big baby boom. A lot, of, a lot more kids born than normal just because there's so many people, you know, indoors or, you know, together more than usual. And so that's going to be kind of, you know, a really positive note, you know. I mean, I'm trying to look at it at least in a positive way that at least, at least this is going to possibly happen. And, um, and so um, in a way, it's almost like... Um, 
you know, there's a balance in the system, you know, and for those who, who may perish, will have new life uh, that will come about. And this just is just a cycle of life here. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of suffering, of course, but there could be also a lot of joy in this whole process, you know, this cycle. And so we just have to know that this is, this is the cycle of life. This is, this is sometimes what happens, you know, bad things happen, but there's also a lot of good things too. So let's just focus more, more on that because that's where quality of life comes from. You guys take care. Catch you later.